Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop to make colorful glow lines. And I'll be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to get the job done in this video, but you can pretty much use any version of Photoshop that you want. So this is what our final effect is going to look like. As you can see, it's a bunch of curved lines that glow different colors. And the effect itself is very simple to make and it doesn't take a long time, but what you could do is take what I'm teaching you in this tutorial and combine it with your other Photoshop skills and make something a little more advanced. For example, something like this. I took my Photoshop skills and I made a planet looking shape and then I took the curved lines and I wrapped it around the planet and it makes it look even cooler. And another example would be this. The picture itself is already very dramatic. And what I did is I added the background gradient and then I added the curved lines and I made them wrap around his arm. And that makes it look even more dramatic and it adds to the effect and it makes it look cooler. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do today. So let's get started. Let's click on file new and let's make a new image with a width of 640 pixels and a height of 480 pixels. This is obviously your choice how big you want the image to be and press OK. The first thing I'm going to do is double click on the background layer and press OK. That's going to unlock the background layer, then double click on it again and let's add a gradient overlay. So let's click on gradient overlay and let's click on the gradient color to change the colors. I want it to go from black to a very dark gray. Something like that and press OK. OK. Now what I'm going to do is reverse these colors, then change the style to radial and put the scale up to 150%. So that's going to set our background image and it's going to set the mood for the whole image. So let's press OK. Now what I'm going to do is select the brush tool, right click on the image so we could mess with the settings. And I want the size to be something like 3 or 4 pixels depending on what you want and with a hardness of 100%. And then I'm going to select the pen tool and before I use the pen tool let's make a new layer. So let's click Command Shift N or Control Shift N if you're on Windows and press OK. And with the pen tool selected on that new layer, let's make our curved line. The pen tool is pretty simple to figure out, so I'll let you guys figure that out on your own while I make my curved line. And bam, just like that, three seconds and the curved line shape is done. So now what we want to do is go to our paths window. If your paths window isn't open, then click on window, paths, and that should open it up. And once you have that open, right click on that work path we just made and click stroke path. You want the tool to be the brush tool and you want simulate pressure to be checked and press OK. Now we're going to delete this work path so we could see the line that we made. And then let's head back to our layers window. And as you can see we have this curved white line right there. So what we're going to do is now add the outer glow. So let's double click on the layer and then let's go to outer glow. We're going to change the blend mode to normal. Let's put the opacity up to 100% and now we get to choose any color that we want. We can make it white and have it just glow white or we could choose an actual color. So what I'm going to do is choose a light blue color and press OK, press OK again and just like that we are done with our first line. Now you can make multiple lines and make it look something like this. You can make a um, planet shape, wrap it around that. You could take a picture and wrap it around a body part and make it look cool. Just you could do whatever you want with it, just be creative and come up with something cool. There are endless possibilities with this simple effect. So that's it for this video tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Octotoots.com and until next time, I will see you guys later.